cooperation opportunities from high level opening up. We take opening up as a catalyst for reform and growth. China's overall tariff level has been reduced close to that of developed WTO members. We have cut the negative list for foreign investment from 93 to 31 items. China's annual imports of goods and services amount to 2.5 trillion US dollars. In the first half of the year, new foreign enterprises in China increased by 14.2% year on year. CEOs from American companies like Goldman Sachs, Starbucks, and Daiki have visited China recently to fuel the country's pace of opening up. The third plenary session has underscored China's commitment on several fronts, institutional opening up and lining up with international standards, developing efficient and convenient mechanisms for safe cross-border data flow, building a transparent, stable, and predictable institutional environment. China will broaden market access, remove foreign investment restrictions in the manufacturing sector, expand the openness in the service sector, including telecommunications, the internet, education, culture, and healthcare. We will ensure that foreign companies' legitimate rights are fully protected and provide them with national treatment in terms of access to production factors, licensing, and government procurement. In sum, China's efforts to develop new institutions for a higher standard open economy will bring about a greater market with more opportunities for cooperation.